today we will be setting up DNS so that way you can use your own custom from email address when sending emails. For example, if we go into an email here and you want to change it from privymarketing.com, you can use your own domain here instead. So what we want to do is first go into our account settings. And then over here on the left, we have our email settings and specifically we want to click into sending domains. Now from here, there's not going to be any domains, but we are going to add our custom domain. This is simply just going to be your website. Domain is just another word for website. And in this example, my domain is going to be privysupport.com. And we'll save that. So what just happened is our system generated these five records. This is one record here. This is another record. This is another record. So there are three parts to a DNS record. There is a type of record. There is a host of the record. This is also known as a name. Could be either or. And then there is also the data of the record, which is also known as a value. So now that we've done that, next we want to go over to your domain host. In this example, my domain host is Shopify. I use Shopify to purchase their domain, so I'm going to be going into there to add the records. So in Shopify, we want to go into the online stores on the left. Domains will be in the dropdown. And then from here, we want to manage the domain, which should then give us options to edit the DNS settings here. Once we're on this page, we have the option to add a custom record. So to start, we want to check what's the first record. Okay, so we see that it's, it's going to be a text record. So we'll add, it, um, add a text record. Okay, so now it's asking for a name. So this is where a lot of confusion comes in play. So when we go over to Privy, there is no name. And as mentioned earlier, the host is also known as the name. So one thing when we're copying the host over is that we specifically want to exclude the domain at the end of, of the host record. So we're just going to copy the beginning part like this. I did not copy my domain or my website address. And we're going to add it over here. And then next, we're going to add the value. So privy, we simply just use a different word, which is data for this. So we're going to copy the data, switch back over to Shopify, and we'll paste it into the value section. We're going to confirm that. And that's one record done. Now let's add the second record. And the second record is going to be a CNAME record. Again, the name is host. We're going to exclude the domain at the end, copy that, and paste it into the name field. Switch back to Privy, copy the data field. And CNAME records, because of the way that they function, it doesn't use the word value. Instead, it points to a destination. So our data is going to be entered into the points to. We'll confirm that. Move on to the next CNAME record. And this one is going to be S2. We'll copy that. Paste it in here. Same thing with data. Add it into points 2 and confirm. Next record is another CNAME record. Copy the beginning, exclude the domain, add a CNAME record. Paste the host into the name field, data, again this is pointing to this domain, confirm. The last one is simply a verification record, lets us know that, lets your domain know that Privy is using this. And then we confirm. So we've successfully added a total of five DNS records into our domain host, in this case Shopify. 
tests, then we can check to see if this is completed by going back over to Privy and clicking this Verify button. So what this does is it'll ping my domain, in this case, privysupport.com, and it'll check to see if I've entered these five records. So when I click Verify, sometimes it takes a moment, but it'll eventually verify all of them. And there it is. Now it's, now it's verified. So once it's verified, the second step, we can go over here, and you will actually be able to change your default from email. And that's how we set up DNS for your sending domain.